We are going to discuss various yoga positions in order to understand them better. It is wiser if you cannot go to a class to have these explained more fully. Through meditation you will be able to raise your intuition to a point where you tune into the movements which are right for your body at any one time. You cannot single out a position and say it is more holy than another because in many ways all movements that we do in our life can be considered holy and we should be aiming at making meditation a way of life. Some movements are more beautiful than others. However, a beautiful position to energize the solar plexus when you do not need more energy there will be of little use and will only upset the flow in that area. So we are going to talk about exercises for the various chakras and to try to understand why they are useful. Let us start with the warm energy in the basement, the reproductive area, and link with improving circulation there. Wherever we improve the circulation, the rapport with the etheric is stimulated. To begin, let us first lie flat on the floor and try to eliminate too much curvature in the spine and to bring the shoulders back so that you can allow the body to assume the correct position. Very often when we are standing we do not stand well and so the spine suffers. Lying down on a hard surface is very good for the spine. Let's begin then by having a really good stretch. So on a good in-breath, bring the hands around the body and back behind you and stretch well. Stretch the whole body from tip to toe and then relax deeply on the out-breath. Now once again, taking a nice deep breath, contract all the muscles and stiffen the whole body. Make it really, really stiff. And then on the out breath, very gently let go. We're going to begin the movements now. In this particular movement, the energies in the leg itself will be affected. The base of the abdomen will be more energized. So taking a breath, raise the right leg slowly up into the air and then just on the out breath bend the leg at the knee and then bring the knee to the chest keeping the other leg flat on the floor. If necessary, hold the knee with both hands and bring it further into the chest. If your body holds itself well while standing, the knee will easily come to the chest. If you find that the knee comes nowhere near the chest, then your body, especially the spine, will be vulnerable. On the in-breath, raise the forehead towards the knee a little and just release back on the out-breath. This time you take a big breath lying down and come up breathing out as you press the knee to the forehead. 
Now we're going to repeat that with the other leg. 